If you want to make more money with your business, follow these steps, right? Case study 2024. This is a client with our firm right now. We have a 1700% organic lead increase. Why is organic leads so powerful? They convert better. They lead to higher lifetime value of clients, right? So this chart will come back to very good chart, but this is about where they started four leads a week. And now we're over 70 leads a week. That's a huge increase. The cool part is this client, their LTV for their clientele is over $20,000. That's humongous, right? Humongous. But what we're going to talk about here, let's pretend we're a business in Sacramento, specifically Sacramento Tree Service. We're going to use tools like ChatGPT, Keyword Planner. We're going to use things like Google Sheets, a lot of free tools, and a lot of just talking through this so you can make more money with your business today. And before we jump into it, a quick shameless plug. If you want to work together, come to my homepage, put your name, email, website, tell me what your goals are. Maybe it's a good fit, maybe it's not, but let's jump into it. Now, step number one is the competition. I want to see who we're working against, who we're working for, and all these type of things. Sacramento is a big area, but it's not huge. It's a big city, right? And we're going after tree service. Why? It's just an example for this video. It could have been electricians, plumbers, whatever. Whatever your service is, this stuff has shown to work. So I want to go up. Let's go up. This is called Google Guarantee, the local service ad. These right here, you have to pay Google for. This is not organic, but you have to know these convert. Some of the best conversions are from LSAs. You want to do PPC, consider that. Then right here, the reviews of a business matter so much. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but if you do not have reputation management in your business, reputation management is to solicit clients that you worked with to give you a good review, right? or give you a review period. And this is where we're working with right here. Tree service, Sacramento, Davies tree service near Sacramento. Do you see anything in common? These first three results. This is what people click on, right? Bob down the street, who's looking for tree services. He's going to come to these websites, probably the top three, no one else, maybe just the top one. If you're in the first slot, you're getting most of the, the line share. Now we're going to have some fun. I want you to notice something very important. These were the three results, tree services, sacramento.org. This one looks a lot different. Why is that one way different than both of these. One of them is not like the rest. These two are the root domains for Tree Services, Sacramento, and Fallen Leaf. But this, this is where the money's at right here. These guys are crushing it. This is called a service location page. So if we come back to this website, click here, let's look at it. What they are doing is they are targeting their service, Tree Services, by certified. So they're expert arborists in this area. And then you can rinse and repeat in different suburbs, areas around Sacramento. Now, for the sake of time, I'm going to show you why this matters. Sacramento Tree Service. This is a free tool. Google Keyword Planner, right? Very, very good tool for local businesses. So Sacramento Tree Service right here, what we typed in has 100 to 1,000 monthly searches. The competition, so they say, is low, but don't follow that. That's based upon CPC. But... Everything under here, keyword ideas, is where my eyes immediately go. This is what people are typing in. You, do you understand? This is exactly what people are typing into Google. That's why it matters so much. Now we know why they use the term arborist in Sacramento. They are double dipping in a good way. They're double dipping Sacramento tree service and arborist. And there's no wonder why that company ranks at the top. Now key on to this. What are the exact terms people type into Google? If you hear nothing else in this video, what are the exact terms? I'm talking exact terms people are typing in to find your service. If you are guessing, if your website is guesswork on these exact terms and you just have a website that is not structured to match, I'm talking 100% match. I'm not talking keyword stuffing. I'm talking about making sure Google understands when someone types in, say, tree service in Sacramento, you have a page dedicated to that term right there. Now, if we follow that logic, we have to do a little bit more, a little bit more digging, right? So I'm coming in here and I'm kind of refining the keyword planner to just show me results for Sacramento. It's not perfect, but follow me on this. Sacramento is the greater area, Sacramento. People type that in. I'm sure they also type in lesser areas. So Roseville is like a suburb, I guess, of Sacramento. I asked ChatGPT, give me 10 areas around this place, Sacramento, and it did. And then I struggled with it a little bit, but finally I got what I need. Tree services, in the area. Give me that. Just the reason I use ChatGPT, it's fast. Just give it to me. I don't need to research the areas and it can give me this. So then we push it over to the keyword planner. So let's cancel here. I can just copy paste tree services in these areas. And all of a sudden, if we sort by average monthly searches, we can see which ones are viable. So look here, Elk Grove tree service. That right there is exactly what people are typing in. 100 to 1000 people per month. Can you build a business? 
Can you build a business on 100 people contacting you per month? A lot of people can. But 100 leads a month for a big company is nothing. It's really nothing. You need thousands of leads per month. And companies like this, Davey, they can pull it off. Why? Because they understand how to structure a website. More importantly, this is the thing. Maybe you can, you can get the exact match. You can figure out URL structure. That's cool. But can you create a website that converts? CRO, right? Conversion Rate Optimization. What does that mean? When someone comes on here, do they feel comfortable? Do they feel comfortable to call your website, right? Where is it? Where's the CTAs? Learn more about Davey. Let's click it. Let's click this button about Davey. And all of a sudden, it's going to have a video. I feel very comfortable. Integrity, safety, expertise. It goes on and on. I've said it in previous videos. People like people's faces. If your website doesn't have faces of you and your team, that's a big problem you need to address. Bottom line is two things. Figure out what people are typing into Google, and when they come onto your website, like this website right here, make sure you're giving them exactly what they want, which is probably a phone number to call right now and get business from you. Now, coming full circle, I want to show you why this website right here does so well. Very, very interesting. Remember, we type in Sacramento Tree Service. Why did we do that? Well, we know it has volume. Volume is how many people type in Sacramento Tree Service per month, which was 100 to 1,000 according to Google. Let's get past the LSAs, the ads at the top. Let's get past the Google business listings or GMBs, whatever you want to call it, right here. Look here. Really focus here. Sacramento Tree Service is the keywords we're typing in. Look at this website's domain, Tree Services Sacramento. It has all three of the words we have. All keywords are represented in the domain here. Oftentimes, people refer to this as EMDs, exact match domains. I don't know if this company did it on purpose, but it's very, very, very obvious to me why they rank number one when you type this in because their website has all the keywords in there. Furthermore, their title tag, Tree Service Sacramento, it's right there too. So hopefully this shows you, you need to research what people are typing in and in some way kind of force feed Google to understand, yes, we do business here and we do this particular service. And in the beginning of the video, I said, I'll show you how I would beat these websites. Now let's be clear. Some of these websites would be pretty hard to beat. Why? Because they have tenure, they've been there a while and they're doing a good job too. But if I were to start fresh a website where I want to rank, I would do this tactic over and over again. I would expand out probably 30 miles from the heart of Sacramento, figure out where I want to focus on, right? What service areas use ChatGPT to do it. And then I would do general approach too. Right here to the left, I know it's hard to see. Let's bump it up. These are keywords according to Google Keyword Planner that are more general. So I just typed in Sacramento Tree Service, and then this can give you some ideas. When you're starting business, sometimes you need to figure out the fringes to then work towards the center. You need to dominate out here, and then you can get more of the lion's share as we go on. Tree Trimmers, Sacramento is a derivative of a tree service. Does it need its own page? Maybe. We do research to see what the volume is for these and all the derivatives, right? Tree removal cost. That's potentially a different page, a different service location page. Palm tree trimming. Does someone have a specific page for palm tree trimming? Right, right here, Google's saying that maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. So what we do is we look at all of the keywords first because we need to fish where the fish are. There's plenty of ponds, right? But we can know where the fish are, which ponds are best efficient due to keyword research. Now, coming back to the case study, very important to talk about this, and then we'll bounce the case study. This is this year. It's active. They're still clients, still crushing it. In 55 weeks, we increased from four leads a week to over 70, and it's going up, up, and away. Look at the chart, right? Look at this chart. It's looking good. But this here, this niche, this finance niche, think lawyers, think these type of things, is way more competitive than most local businesses. Way more competitive. This one has a little local tinge and a global tinge to it. So a bit different, way more difficult. If you have a local business, this stuff isn't that hard. You just need a plan. Create a website that you structure it well, and you can see these type of results. This is what we do at the agency. So if you have any questions, come. I'll have a link in the description, probably first comment too. Let's work together. Put your name, email, website. Tell me what your goals are, and we'll just have a conversation. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.